What's good? Real talk, pop culture junkies, real mirrors. I'm on break, so. I'm squeezing this shit in. Niggas is still going in on that nigga Derek Jackson, bro. That shit funny. And it's sad. It's sad, bro, because. Like, how I put it? Most niggas I didn't like in the industry, dog. That was like, man, that nigga full of shit. Like, pretty much all the niggas took, then caught their L's, took their L's. And I don't take no, I don't get no joy out seeing another nigga, you know, get drugged through the mud like that, bro. But, I'm gonna say this. As a black person, especially as a black person. Saying stop fucking with these false these false prophets, bro. You know, like beware the false prophet, man. That's the message of the day. Beware the false prophet. These motherfuckers uh sell you anything. You know, as long as you buy that book, you good with them. You know, they're entertaining. As long as you, you know, feeding they beasts. My man's, uh, Derrick Jackson ain't the only nigga I heard doing that shit. Like, for real. He, he was shameless as fuck with his shit, though. But he ain't the only nigga I heard doing that. He ain't the only nigga I heard lying to females. Lying to black women, praying on they, uh, on they, uh, what's the word I want to use? On they foolishness. You know, I guess that's what you call it. I don't know no better. He fucked up. And then, like, y'all gotta leave his wife alone, too, bro. Because his wife, uh... Like Boosie said. What did Boosie say about the Lori Harvey shit? He say, y'all praise the Lori Harvey for being, you know, father and son and shit. Getting spit-roasted, right? With uh, P. Diddy and his son. Then, you know, she fucking with a group of niggas that all fuck with each other. You get what I'm saying? Future. Akon, Akon brother, Diddy, motherfucking Trey Songs, like all these niggas is in the same atmosphere, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Y'all like Gus Goals. But you see, dog out here, he done made a fortune off this shit, lying to y'all, you know? Why would his wife leave him? I mean, yeah, he didn't. Got his, got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, but he married her though, bro. He ain't he ain't get rich and go get a white girl and no shit like that. He married his girl. He married her. He, she was down. Shit. Y'all saying, oh, she a homely wife, da da da. But I'm saying though, in spite of everything this nigga did, you know, he still did. He still married a black woman. Had married a woman he had kids by, like, you know. Y'all dragging the nigga through the mud, but let's look at what he did do right. So, and then, like I said, she's sticking with the nigga. That's her prerogative. But if she want to be like a Megan Thee Stallion or, you know, whatever the fuck out here, and, you know, I'm, oh, I'm hopping this. Y'all, you know, y'all been like, girl, girl, girl. Reversal, though. Reversal is, um, like I said, when Jada got caught up, you know, y'all trying to find, y'all trying to find shit to, you know, <laughs> just tell, Paul Will Smith, y'all trying to find anything to drag that nigga through the mud. Well, he was doing it too. Who came out and embarrassed this nigga and said anything? Y'all don't got no evidence of that. And we ain't even going to mention, like, you know, Tasha K. Cause she be she be, she didn't she didn't expose a lot of niggas, bro, bro. Like she exposed the fuck out of niggas. I'm scared of her, but yeah, bro. Like Tasha K uh said something about Will Smith shit or whatever. She had to dig that shit up. And nobody come out on no Will Smith 
embarrassing nobody saying entanglements and had motherfucking memes going for months and months and months and shit. So get the fuck out of here with that. But that's what y'all say. Y'all say, uh, you know, oh, when it's Jada or somebody else get caught doing those dirty goals. But, like I said, you let a nigga who sold you a book with a wedding ring on his finger but never showed you his motherfucking wife tell you what to do, tell you how you should be, tell you what type of nigga. Like, he say, them niggas like, I want you to get, and he just like every other nigga. Actually worse, because he, he lying, and he, he being super deceitful. Like, he didn't create a whole new personality and shit to do his fucking dirt with. Like, it's, 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 it's crazy. Ladies, so y'all gotta humble y'all so take this L for building niggas like that up. And take that L. Fellas, I don't care how hard it get. Monique, the comedian, some more Roseanne Barr, motherfucking uh what's her name? <laughs> the redhead country chick. Reba. Reba McIntyre. Them motherfuckers can't crack no jokes. That's funny enough. Or write no book on no motherfucking healthy marriage or nothing like that. How to court a woman that, that you would fucking buy or listen to. So why would women let a nigga like Steve Harvey tell them anything? You know what I'm saying? Foolishness, bro. Steve Harvey is like the reverse of Derek Jackson. He wasn't shit. Can't write no books while you win shit. But once he cleaned his act up and got, you know, the chick he wanted or whatever. Now you feel like you're an expert and all that other shit. Which makes more sense than the Derrick Jackson shit, though. You get what I'm saying? Because Steve Harvey, an older man, he accomplished. He didn't, you know what I mean? He didn't make, he didn't have time to make mistakes and correct them bitches. And you can look at his life and see the progress. This nigga Derek Jackson ain't even older than me, bro. Like, I couldn't listen to nothing. This nigga, because he was, it was all just simp shit. And he was so militant with it. That's how you knew he was full of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even trying to understand, nigga. You don't even, you don't even understand why a nigga would cheat. You just, it's just, just cut and dry. Just, oh, 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 you don't want to be with a girl. Oh, so why the fuck you ain't do that, Derek? You get what I'm saying? Why do y'all build these niggas up? Like I said, I gave the nigga props on, you know, you married a black woman, you married a woman that was down with you, you you know. Your football career wasn't that great because they didn't show your stats and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, she was with you through all them L's he was taking at the Skiggy or whatever. Bro, like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get niggas props. He, he, he did with every nigga would, would, would love to do. Marry his college or high school sweetheart or whatever the fuck. And, you know. Married the woman, you got kids by all that shit. But like in real life, nigga, you get bored, shit. Or even the, the motherfucking flames go out that bitch. Whatever the fuck, he didn't get caught. He didn't do what he was telling niggas to do. He didn't do what he was selling niggas. So you know, I, he still gonna have a career because he looked like how he looked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Women shallow as fuck, bro. So they still go. They still they just go. They go. They go feed the nigga just because they want to fuck the nigga. You know what I'm saying? T.D. Jakes might even still fuck with the nigga on the book, too. Just because. For all publicity, good publicity, nigga. Feel me? They can turn this around. They can sell this shit. Shit. Ain't church for the sick, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? This nigga sick as hell. This nigga made a reaction video to his own confession video like he not in the video. You know what I'm saying? So, church is for the sick, motherfuckers. So, he's sick. T.D. Jakes, if he official, if he thorough, he ain't go throw the nigga to the wolves. But, nigga might not want his own dirt to come out. So, who the fuck knows? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got you bitches encouraged to take this nigga out. <sighs> they encouraged to take this nigga, Derrick Jackson, out. So, you know, if T.D. Jakes got any dirt going on, he probably, he probably don't want them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably don't want to fuck with that nigga, bro. Other than that, I gotta quit building these niggas up, man. Quit building up these false prophets, bro. 
like I said, it's a lot of um. It's it's an epidemic of women just these these celebrity women dumping these niggas or, or dogging these niggas out once they didn't fatten their career up or they or they got a little clout. You know what I'm saying? And as men, like you got to pay attention to that type of shit, bro, because it trickled down to the common woman, bro. I can't wait to get locked up. I'm looking at this shit. Anyway, I got to get a retwist line up. But it, it trickled down to the common woman because they start seeing all this celebrity activity and think they on the level of a sweetie or a motherfucking Jada Pinkett or a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, and try to interact with you like you the nigga that she fucking with. And well, you should, if you ain't doing this, you should. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, stop, stop going for that shit, fellas, man. Put your foot down and lead. And if she don't want to follow, leave. You get what I'm saying? All this goofy shit we are, we going through, putting ourselves through. Self-inflicted nonsense, bro. That's what the fuck we doing, bro. Because motherfuckers are showing you who they was. Fuck the bell. I just don't love you, bro. Ladies, vice versa, bro. This nigga talking about the sex, 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 sex. said beware the, beware the free lunch and beware the false prophets you got female false prophets out here too preaching one thing telling one thing saying one thing life a motherfucking mess you know what I'm saying bitch house a mess bitch, bitch mouth a mess her attitude a mess everything a mess but cause she got a couple dollars you know shit <laughs> she a motherfucker I'm a life coach I'm an expert like no you nah far from it Fellas, too. Shit. It, 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 we need to quit attacking the gender. You know what I'm saying? People are not right. People aren't right, bro. People aren't raised right. People haven't been raised right. People haven't been loved right. People haven't been treated right. People aren't right, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's what make people like D. Jackson despicable. Because, like, bro, you just you sold your brothers out. Who the fuck you gonna fall back on? Like, niggas couldn't wait to tear you apart. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, like, it was like the moment niggas seen this nigga. Videos, they he had tired niggas against him. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of you don't want to back yourself into a corner like that. Cause I seen the video where Cuz said some shit it makes sense. This nigga ain't got no game, dog. Look at how he look. He still wasn't confident enough to just go out there and just fuck women. Or randomly just stab off at women. You know what I'm saying? Like any other nigga would, you know what I'm saying? So shit, this niggas that ain't six five muscles and shit like that. That just that got the confidence in themselves to just, you know, discreetly cheat, cheat, openly cheat, openly fuck around, have a poly you know what I mean? Like nigga, you look like that, bro. You should be able to pull something off. You know? But he used his business to get that pussy. And I was a no-no. Shouldn't have did that. Shouldn't, shouldn't have made your business women. No way, bro. Look at how you look. I mean, that was smart, but you ain't mature. He ain't, you know what I mean? The nigga wasn't mature enough to handle that shit. And the show, when the first problem to his little empire, you know, niggas basically threw a rock at his bitch, and that shit shattered. You know what I'm saying? But he still, like I said, he's in the, he has the fan base and, he, and we're in the age where he could bounce back from that shit. He just got to take a break. But the nigga's such a narcissist. That nigga might be a Leo, bro. Like, for real. Like, that nigga's narcissistic as fuck, bro. Like, damn. Never showed his wife before, but showed her the first time. It's a problem. Again, not Steve Harvey ain't pulling no shit like that. This nigga was married, never showed his wife, period, till he got a bad bitch. Or at least what he thought was a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, you know, we see the nigga wife everywhere. You ever seen a motherfucker was doing the fucking radio show next to the nigga? Like, people are, people are trip, bro. People are trip. People are a trip. You know who Lori Harvey is, but you don't know about his two dark-skinned daughters, two twins and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about Steve. Like, bro, niggas is, and y'all bought a book from this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all only know of one of his children. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? By name. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. And that ain't even his real daughter, bro. Like, I mean, listen to me, bro. Beware the free lunch and beware the false prophet, bro. Some shit too easy. It's, 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 it's come on, man. It's taxed somewhere on that motherfucker. It's too easy. But I'm going to get up out of here. I got some more videos I'm going to make for y'all. Uh, like, comment, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what's up, man. Let me know what y'all think about this shit. And I swear this might be my last Derek Jackson video. Because it's just like, come on, it ain't that deep. Like, nigga, it ain't that deep. He got quite cheating on his wife. Yada, yada, yada. Blase split. Like, niggas get... You know what I mean? The Amber the Amber Heard shit more interesting than this Derrick Jackson shit. How the fuck did they get... How the fuck did you get shit in the bed? And, bitch, why don't you care? You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to make Johnny Depp crazy? Because he got alarmed that he woke up to a turd next to him instead of his wife. And it was a house full of motherfucking people. And she Amber like, well, why, 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 what, what's the big deal? Why, why are you tripping? That's interesting. Because it's like, bitch, you hate that nigga that much. You took a shit next to this nigga head. What the fuck? But that's that's more interesting than the Derrick Jackson stuff, bro. Like, for real. But all right, it's your boy Mars. I'm out.